So we're here in beautiful South Texas doing some hunting. I've got Darren Jones here from AB Suppressors and we're taking a look here at the 6.5 Creedmoor. I wanna tell you a little bit about the rifle because I know we'll get a lot of questions about that. Um, the rifle itself is a Falcor Defense. It's painted by Eli Urian, features a proof research carbon fiber barrel, fab defense furniture, and I want you to pay attention to the buttstock and grip that's on here. Night Force Optic, Zero Delta Mount, and then of course, lastly, I've got this AB Suppressor. So, uh, Darren, what can you tell me about the, the AB Suppressor? Well, there's, there's a lot of cool features about the Suppressor. One, it's all titanium, so it's very light. The, this is our eight stack. We have 10, eight, six, and four. Okay. So you can run different sizes, both in five, five, six, or in seven, six, two. All right. So you can, you know, put them on any kind of weapon that you want to put them on. Uh, we've run these things all the way up to 3378 Weatherby. Wow. Uh, they'll take it. They'll take the beating. That, that's one of the great features about them that, that doesn't get pushed enough, in my opinion, is, is you can pretty much run these on anything. Uh, not really a whole lot of barrel restrictions. The main thing is all titanium, super light. Yeah. Right. I mean, this, this, this eight stack is 7.8 ounces. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a whole faster on target thing. Oh yeah. You know, uh, you're, you're going to be, if you're doing that kind of shooting, if you're, if you're doing something where you don't want a lot of weight on the end of your rifle with bad harmonics or something like that, mm -hmm. this also makes a big difference. But the, the one cool thing that, that we have, if you've got the room, if you've got the real estate, as we say, we have a reflex mount. Mm -hmm. So what the reflex mount does, it screws onto your gun, direct thread, but it is behind the muzzle. Right. So you're not adding any length, yet you are increasing your blast baffle space. And you're also getting a, a major tone reduction. Uh, when people shoot this with and without, they're like, I really notice a tone difference. I don't know if it's quieter, but it sounds quieter. Sure. You know, and that is one of the huge benefits of it. And I'm, I'm a big fan of it because you're not adding that much, that much weight. It's like another 3.7 ounces, I think, that you're adding with a three stack or sure. with the uh, three inch reflex. Uh, reflex. So, you know, that's a, that's what, that's one of the big features of it. And that's what makes this suppressor a little bit more unique than, than other cans that are out there. So Darren and I, we've actually been on several events together, yeah. industry events and uh, industry hunts. We've actually hunted at this ranch yeah. uh, before. Yeah. So I rely on guys like Darren to just say, Hey man, go check this thing out. Um, and for me, I'm very skeptical about, uh, skeptical about uh, new uh, brands, particularly in the AR market and particularly in the suppressor market. I haven't yeah. heard of them. There's been a lot of fly-by-night uh, companies out there, and some of them have been very innovative, but they just go away. Uh, what impressed me the most about the AB suppressors when, when I uh, received them in is um, they're very professional. The packaging was good, and it came with um, a reflex uh, mount or a flush mount. So in some cases, like uh, on my Petra, for example, and uh, my next level uh, 350 Legend, my rail goes right up to the end of the barrel. So I don't have the ability to put a reflex on there, but it comes with a flush mount. Um, and I can actually just take and do the, uh, the half inch thread or, or uh, go up for the uh, larger thread. Right. And that gives me the adaptability. So if I'm sharing cans between rifles, in some cases, I could just put a reflex on there or a flush mount and then just screw this, this front portion on. We'll probably uh, take that apart. There we go. They'll take that apart here in a little bit. So it looks like this can is actually really long. And by volume, it actually is a large can, but it didn't increase the, the length of my rifle um, very much. And I've got other suppressors that I shoot that, that extend another two inches longer than what this one is now. Um, we talk about tone. Tone to me is everything with the can. Absolutely. Uh, you know, DB, I, I'm pretty much deaf in, in my left ear, um, but that tone is, is really what gets me. And I did notice when we added the reflex, it changed uh, the tone for the better. And I've shot it both with and without. Another thing is when we talk about increasing the volume, of course, the benefit to that of an AR shooter is you don't have all that blowback back in your face. So if I got my eye here next to the gas key, when I shoot at night with a thermal, I don't wear uh, eye protection. Anyone that says that they do, you know, is, is probably doing that just to appease the keyboard warriors. So having no gas blowback is a big deal to me. Absolutely. I see it particularly when I get up into my AR-10 platforms, this one particular shooting 6.5 uh, Creedmoor, my 300 Win Mag, same thing. We built a couple of rifles and we'll show you those in a minute. 
uh, for my son and I that are both, they're chambered in 6.5 Grendel. And because of the adaptability of it, um, and with this reflex on my son's rifle, because he's, he's young, I was able to run a shorter uh, handguard to keep the, the weight of the rifle down and, and also fit him a little better. And that gave me the ability to put, what is it, a five inch reflex? Yeah, uh, you can go all the way to a five. And so the can on there looks incredibly long. And by volume, again, it is long, but it didn't change the overall length of that rifle. Right. Um, when you look at it, though, you'll swear that yeah, that you, one... Yeah, you think it's like, man, that suppressor's huge. And when I unscrew it and say, hey, your, your muzzle's right here, Yeah. people go, you see the light go on, they're like, oh, okay. And so what I tell people and what our, our owner, Brad Riley, tells people, you have the real estate, use the real estate. Yeah. I mean, this is free real estate, use it. Yep. You're not adding any weight, it balances everything out. Uh, I think it looks cool. It does. And that's look half cool. the battle, right? Yeah. You know, it's looking cool. Well, so it's like, I mean, you know, like your shirt. You, know? <laughs> yeah. you got to have all that, right? Yeah. So it's like, I, there's a lot of, there's a lot of added benefits to it. Um, it. It's, it's one of those things that we're, we're getting the word out and I appreciate you, you know, helping us out with this and it's, but I wanted you to shoot it because, you know, I don't want anybody to push anything or, or shoot our stuff that doesn't believe in it. Yeah. And once you shoot it, you get it. I, I mean, do you absolutely get it once you shoot it. Uh, you know, I can tell you something, you know, having been in this industry for a while, I can tell uh, when I look at a company's product, pride of workmanship. When I opened uh, the, the packaging here, when you showed me that first case uh, a few weeks ago, and we were looking us over and we've got crosscut sections and we'll show you some of those here in a minute as well, because the baffle design itself is is uh is is different um it's a what do you call it a s curve or what what is that thing well uh, it, it's our own baffle design okay and it's uh we just call it you know just the swirl you know the yep. baffle swirl and it's uh it's it's different and that's what helps you on your gas blowback your sound reduction yeah uh we have a background in in building uh turbochargers for harley davidson's and for racing snowmobiles and things like that and it's it's that it's a muffler it. okay yeah it's that's all that's all that it says but this is happens to be a really badass muffler it it really is and and the uh the pride of workmanship the machining uh quality internal is where it really stood out to me and i thought you know let's take a look at this uh i love uh thinking outside the box i like different uh innovations and they're really haven't been, let's face it, in the in the AR platform or in suppressors over the years. A lot of them are, you know, simple K baffles or whatever. This one's distinctly different, sounds different, performs different. When we install them on the 6.5 Grendels, no gas adjustment whatsoever. I have no adjustable gas key. Right. I didn't have to adjust a gas block or anything like that. Out of my son's rifle, I uh, with the longer reflex, absolutely zero blowback on that one. Mm -hmm. um, and it was... It was incredible. It ran, it cycled exactly the same. Uh, mine, I ran a short, a shortly slider one. I think it's a three inch um, uh, reflex on there. And I did detect a little bit of gas, but not nearly as much as the, uh, the suppressor I had on there a couple days ago. Sure. And that's a big deal to me because sometimes you're taking multiple shots. And when you're looking through a thermal anyway, it's already burning your eye socket out. So you don't need any more, uh, you know, trauma to your eyeball at that point. <laughs> right. But, at any rate, um, we'll uh, we'll get on the range. We'll take a couple shots with these and just show you the the tonal quality. It's hard to tell, obviously, the the dB uh, level at home, but I can tell you, I've shot uh, just about any of the big, uh, actually every big suppressor that's out there, big name. I'm saying, and um, and this one is very very impressive, not just because of the noise reduction, but because of the weight reduction and the adaptability. And of course, uh, the lack of back pressure. Those are really the three key pillars in suppressor design. And I really think that AB has, has, uh, has hit them all pretty solid. Yeah, they, they, we have. And you know, with a lot of guys going to this 6.5 AR platform, mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of feedback from people saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not getting blown up here. I'm not ripping off bolt catches. I'm not okay. doing that kind of thing. Because you know, a lot of these guns are horribly overgassed. Oh, sure. And, and we kind of solved that. That, that problem there. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for y'all to, to really use these, not just on this hunt, but on follow on hunts and shoots and things like that, oh, just yeah. to, to get the, the long term report on that. I, I have one question about this rifle, though, that we haven't talked about. Sure. What is this? <laughs> uh, 
You won't believe me if I tell you it's a flashlight, I guess, right? No, it's not a flashlight because <laughs> I'm looking at the end of it and I'm like, that's not a flashlight. All right. So cat's kind of out of the bag. I've been down here testing a new product I've been working to develop. Um, this will be something I'll be launching out of a company that I'll be launching uh, here in the fall uh, with some partners. Um, it's called the Eminus, and you can look that up. Google that shit. Don't ask me what it means in the comments, please. Uh, it's, it's a weapon-mounted laser rangefinder. Um, if you, it, it's a little bit bigger than a large flashlight. It's actually using the ocular of an optic. That's, that's how we basically built the first proof of concept. It goes out to a mile. Uh, has oh, a, wow. has a built-in uh, laser so that you can sight it in. You can also use the laser um, for targeting as well. Um, continuous range mode. Uh, you can mount it up on top of your optic. You can mount it uh, on a on side mount on the weapon. The change, uh, the screen changes automatically. Remote switch. Remote switch. Perfect. And then I've got another cable that'll come back into an optic, and I'm not going to get too much into that, but you will be able to see the range uh, in your optic not only in a day optic, but also in a thermal. Um, so it, it's really important. You've hunted thermal before. We just did last night, in fact. That's the biggest thing. That's every everybody that hunts thermal, especially down here in Texas, where we hunt a lot of predators and pigs at night, because mm -hmm. right now it's 90 degrees. Yep. You're not hunting pigs during the day right now. They don't move. They move no. from midnight to four in the morning. I don't want to move during the day. Here. I don't want to move during it's, the day either. It's, it's really hot. Yeah. And that is everybody's biggest challenge hunting with thermals you'll think you are 150 yards 200 yards from something and you're 80 yes unless you've unless you've really hunted with thermal a lot guys that do it a lot they know yes because they're able to look at you especially if you have a graduated reticle yep in your in your optic they're like okay yeah i know that's you know i'm this close but you know a lot of times you're bringing people out and introducing them to the sport and you want to set them up for success and you don't want them to take a shot that that's beyond their capability. Right. This really helps that out. Oh, I, I, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad you pick up on it because I mean, even the other night we walked up on some hogs, and it, you know, it it's so dark here at night with the marine layer that we get. Uh, we're down in Santa Monica. <laughs> we walked up on some hogs. We set up. We looked. We said, nah, "Let's get a little bit closer." And then as I started looking, I kind of glanced up and I could faintly see the tree line, and I'm like, "Wow, that's only like 40 yards." Yeah. And that was my unit of measure, unless I have an Eminus on there, I click a button and I go, wow, these things are 40 yards. And, and a lot of guys, you guys that hunt thermal, you know, how many times have you shot over or below an animal because you were actually too close or too far from it? Um, this, will, this will help that, but, it, but it, uh, it has some future adaptability as well. And uh, that's what I'm most excited about. That'll launch under the brand. Uh, don't go looking for a website because it's not up yet, but it, it uh, will be soon. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. That's that's really I'm excited to kind of see that come out and then we get to go play with this again and yeah, you know, do it again. So I'm, well, I'm, I'm excited. Let's uh, let's get on the range. We'll shoot uh, a couple of these different rifles. I'll show you the difference in these Grendels and, and the length. They're super lightweight. You can't even tell that there's a suppressor on there. And one of them, I mean, it looks like it has this massive suppressor on it. But again, it's coming back over the barrel with that innovative reflex design. So check out AB suppressors and, uh, and make sure that uh, if you have any questions, just direct them all to Darren Jones. And do you want to give him your personal email or maybe your cell phone number? I really would really appreciate it if we didn't do that. I'll put your I'll put cell phone number down in the uh, comments and, and the description. And uh, he likes people coming to his house, actually. So I'll put your address in there as well. I appreciate that very okay. much. Thank you. Um, no problem. Uh, absuppressor.com will suffice. Thank you so much. absuppressor.com. Appreciate it. All right. We'll, we'll hit the range next. We're on the range. We're just going to confirm our zero here. I want to give you a, an, an idea here of the, the tonal quality of this, of this uh, suppressor. Uh, this is, again, on the 6.5 uh, Creedmoor Falcor Defense chassis. Going hot, guys. So you can see it, it uh, cycles flawlessly. There's no issues uh, with that. Very quiet, holy cow, guys. <laughs> I mean, is that ridiculous? Um, so AB suppressor, this is again, uh, the eight stack. So it's the Raptor eight, and it's got the uh, three inch reflex on it. So 
uh, make sure you check that one out. This one's on that Creedmoor. Now we're gonna run it on the uh, 6.5 Grendels. So we'll get those over here now. So I've got two of the 6.5 Grendels here. These, are, these rifles are identical with exception to the length of the handguard. So if you look though, this one looks like it's longer simply because the suppressor looks longer and it is, but that suppressor is coming back over the barrel. So this is a six stack. This is the Raptor six. And this one has the or five inch reflex, three inch reflex on this one. Um, so you can see I've got more real estate here on my son's rifle because he's got a 10 and a half inch Aeronox handguard. And on this one here, I've got a 13 and a half inch. So I didn't have as much real estate to come back over it with that reflex. The result is this one has less back pressure, actually has none. And this one has very, very minimal. Um, and again, we're shooting 6.5 Grendel. This isn't your standard 5.56. You would, you would have absolutely none with either one of these uh, cans on there.